y'all, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month again where I bring you my monthly stitch fix. So for this month, my stylist is once again Lindsay. I absolutely adore Lindsay. Lindsay seems to kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for as well as what my personal style is, so I'm really grateful for that. And for this month, Lindsay sent me three tops, a pair of jeans, and a pair of shoes. And let me tell you, like spoiler alert, the shoes are incredible. So I've been looking for more flannel for who knows how long and Lindsay finally came through, was able to come through because she wasn't able to locate any flannel up until now and all three tops for this fix have that kind of flannel vibe to them. They're not the traditional flannel that you would find, you know, like in Target or something. They're along the same vein as flannel. I'll put it that way. So I'm actually keeping two items from this fix. Yep, that is correct. I am keeping two because I was really torn between two. I liked the style of one thing and then I just couldn't bring myself to part with the second thing. So I am keeping two and sending the other three back, which was difficult. I actually liked most things in this Fix. There was one top that I wasn't entirely keen on, but I also didn't hate it. So I'm sad to be sending the other three items back, but I'm very excited with the two items that I did pick to keep. So I'm going to start with the items that I'm not keeping, and then I'm going to end with the two that I am keeping. I'll start specifically with the item that I was really not too over the moon about, but again, I didn't hate everything in this fix. So first up, we have this chambray top from Billy T. It is the Mabry Chambray Button Down Relaxed Top. Top, and it retails for $64, so it is a pretty expensive item in this fix. In fact, it is the most expensive item in this fix, which was also a reason why I didn't want to keep it so much. But I love chambray tops. I have two that I absolutely adore. I have like a dark wash and I have a light wash, and I've been looking for more fun ones. So this definitely checks those boxes of being a chambray lightweight top. That's kind of a fun pattern. You know, it's got that checkered look to it. It's blue with dark blue. It's a really nice top. It just didn't blow me away. Like I even enjoyed how it looked on me. The blue looks really cool against my red hair. Very soft, very comfortable. It definitely has that chambray feel to it, like that, that lighter jean texture feel to it. Very flowy though. It is, as it says, it is a relaxed top. So it is gonna be baggier, it's gonna be looser, it's not gonna cling to you at all. I don't think I've ever come across anything by Billy T as a company, and I don't hate this top. Just price point, $64, a little much. And also I just wasn't completely wowed by it. It is the same length all the way around. So you do see that there is a little bit of a hem cutout down at the bottom, but it is all the same length. It does have these really nice buttons right here to roll the sleeve up if you want. That's how it came. It came with the sleeves rolled up, but you could easily undo the button and unroll it all the way. Again, it is lightweight, very flowy, very airy. I like the pattern enough. It's also like an acid wash. If you look at it closely enough, there is some fade to it. But of the five items that I got in this fix, this was the one where I was just like, it looks nice, but it's not like, ooh, that's worth keeping especially for $64. So I don't dislike this item. I just didn't like it enough to consider keeping it. Whereas the next two items, I liked them enough to consider keeping them, but I decided in the end not to. So this top will be going back, but it is really nice. And if you're looking for a kind of a printed chambray top, this is a good option. Next is this top from Market and Spruce. It is the Sammy Heritage Cotton Straight Fit Shirt, and it retails for $44. This is probably the closest item in this fix that is to a traditional flannel top. It definitely has the flannel feel to it. It is a lightweight flannel. This isn't gonna be like a really thick flannel that you might find this time of year. This is a lighter weight one, but I really do enjoy it because it's very much what I consider a flannel. As you can see, it is a button all the way down. Now it does say that it is a straight fit shirt, which again, means it is not gonna cling to you. It is not form fitted. It is just, it's kind of boxy, but also not at the same time. I didn't feel like it looked boxy on me when I wore it. In fact, I took the front part and tucked it into my pants, which is something that I do with baggier tops, just to kind of pull it in a little bit more, make it look a little less boxy than it may. And the main reason why I'm not keeping this top is because I already own something kind of sort of similar. 
not entirely the same. The one that I have is a thicker flannel. It also has paler gray stripes. This is a gray stripe in here, so it's white and gray. I have one that is majority of gray as opposed to white, and it is a more faded gray, but I really enjoy that flannel. And as much as I like this one, I'd rather have the other one. Much like the chambray top, it also has the ability to button it if you would like to roll up the sleeves and then button it so that it stays in place, or you could just undo it and entirely and have the sleeves all the way down. I like it both ways, but I really like the option to button it up like that so it holds it in place. This one does button all the way down. You know, some stop halfway. This one buttons all the way down. It is what I consider a true flannel, just a lighter weight one. And I really like it, but this is a case of, I kind of have something similar to it. And as I've mentioned, I'm trying to downsize my wardrobe. So I don't really want to bring in duplicates of anything. So this one will be going back. Next, we have these jeans from Studio Blue. These are the Jude Clean Skinny Jeans and they retail for $58. So they are the second most expensive item in this fix. Surprisingly, the top was more expensive than the jeans. Now I really like these jeans and I, kind of played around with the idea of keeping three items in this fix, but I decided, no, I have enough jeans. I don't need to add more. I really liked these though. The only reason why I'm deciding not to keep them, aside from the fact that I already have enough jeans, is because it is a more cropped fit. And that's not something that they truly mention with this. Like I've looked at the little sheet that they sent me and all the information about it. It doesn't mention that it's cropped. So if you look at the try on video, it does come up halfway to my calf. And I feel like you should mention that it's a cropped one because even though it's rolled up slightly, it's not rolled up a lot. Like it came this way of being rolled up. These are really nice jeans. These do not have any tears in them, which the majority of my jeans do have rips and tears in them. I like that look to jeans, but I also would like to have more jeans that don't have those about them. And I only have two pair, one black pair and one regular jean pair. I don't have a light wash, but I think I would end up having kept these if this had gone all the way to my ankle and it just didn't, even if you unroll this. So these will be going back and I love Studio Blue. I have, I think at least two pairs of jeans by Studio Blue. Absolutely love these. Love the lighter wash to these jeans, but I think the length of the pants leg is kind of throwing me off a little bit just because it doesn't mention in anything that they're cropped, but they felt like it. So these will be going back, which is sad because I did really like these a lot and I considered keeping them, but that kind of threw it off for me. All right, so now the next two items are the ones that I'm actually keeping and I'm very excited for them. The first is this top from Market and Spruce. This is the Sammy Heritage Cotton Straight Fit Henley shirt and it retails for $44. Now, if this sounds like I've already said this name is because there was another top it was that gray one that I said was like a traditional flannel. It's also by Market and Spruce, and it's also Sammy Heritage cotton straight fit shirt. But whereas that one is just cotton straight fit shirt, this one is cotton straight fit Henley shirt. So there is a difference, not in price point, but just in style. So whereas that other one buttoned all the way down, this one is like a Henley top, and it only buttons to about the chest area. So it's got three buttons here and then the rest is open. Nothing goes all the way to the bottom, but it is still a true flannel top in my opinion. It is a lighter weight one, much like that other one. Different coloring, so it's got like a cream off-white color with blue. I honestly was drawn to the Henley style of this top. Once again, like the other tops that I've shown you, it does come with the ability to button it if you wanna roll up the sleeves, but you can also unbutton it and then unroll the sleeves. I was particularly drawn to the Henley style of this top just because I don't have any like that at all. I also did like the colors. I liked that this wasn't a white. I do have a flannel that is white and blue, very similar to this style, but this one is not like a pure white. It is an off-white. It is like a cream color. It also feels really good. Market and Spruce is a wonderful company, but that Henley style really sold me. I really did enjoy that. So I will be keeping this one. I don't know. I just like how that looks. I like the the three buttons here, and then I like the openness of the chest, so like it could show off my necklaces. And again, this retails for 44, much like the other one did. I thought it was kind of funny that they were the exact same name, except for this one has the word Henley in it, and the other one doesn't. And they're the exact same price, so. I will be keeping this one. And the final item that I'm keeping, I'm currently wearing them because I am 
obsessed with them. And those are the shoes that I was saying. So I'm only gonna take one off because there's no point in taking both shoes off because my feet are really warm now. And what do I mean by they're warm? These are by Market and Spruce. Also, can we point out the fact that out of five items this fix, three of them were by Market and Spruce? Love that. These are the Pfeiffer Footbed Mules. This is tan. Yeah, I guess that's tan. It almost looks a little like dark mustard, but it labels it as tan and it retails for $49. So surprisingly, I would have thought shoes would have been the most expensive item in this fix. No, it's not. If anything, it's down there toward the bottom of least expensive items in this fix. I used to own shoes like this all the time, like these Birkenstock mule type shoes. Used to love them when I was in high school. And I used to own this one pair and they were amazing during the winter months. Gotta keep in mind, I went to an all girls private school for about two years and we had to wear a uniform and we wore shoes like this, not this color because I don't think they would have allowed it, but we wore shoes like this. And in the winter months, these kind of shoes get a little cold. Enter Sherpa Linen. And now I used to have a pair of mules very much like this. Absolutely loved how warm they were, but I, fell in love with the fact that these are lined with Sherpa and they are so warm. These can be worn so many different ways. These can be worn around the house, just doing doing chores around the house or just lounging around. Or you can slap on some fun holiday socks, slip these on and go out and do some errands. I love these so much. And I, ever since I opened up the box and did the little try-ons for everything, I've been wearing these, love these so much. I mean, just look how cozy that looks. Look. They're just lined, they're nice and fuzzy, and they're very warm. I love the color too. I think I'd like it in black as well, if that was an option, but I really like this tan a lot, especially since it's like a more yellowy tan. I do enjoy that. There's really not much more I can say about these shoes. I just love these so much. I'm putting them back on my feet now. They feel great. I will also say before I put them back on my feet, they don't have the best grip. These types of shoes don't usually have the best type of grip. So be careful in walking around with shoes like this because they are a little bit more slick on the bottom, but they just, oh my gosh, putting them back on my feet right now. They feel so good. Also, I have like no holiday socks. Like what is that? because I was trying to find cute holiday socks to wear with these and apparently I don't own any. So I'm definitely keeping those, especially since they're only $49. Like for shoes from Stitch Fix, that's pretty good. So if I were to get all five items in this fix, the total would come to $259. You get that 25% off discount, which brings off $64.75 and brings it down to $194.25. I'm not keeping all five items. And with my two items, you know, the shoes are $49 and the top is $44. That brings it to $93. So less than $100. I feel good about that. I'm perfectly fine paying for these two items. I love these shoes so much and I love the Henley style of the flannel. So I'm very, very happy with these two items that I'm keeping. As always, if you're curious about any of these items yourself and want to know the name of anything, those are listed in my description below. I also have my referral link for Stitch Fix. If you would like to try Stitch Fix yourself, you can sign up through that link. I get $25 off, you get $25 off. It's a win-win. So if you're interested, you can check out the link if you'd like. Also, before I forget, I am going to be making some changes to my Stitch Fix videos starting in 2022. I'll go over that a little bit more in another video, but just be on the lookout for that coming up pretty soon. Let me know what item you liked the best? You know, were any of the ones that I'm not keeping something that you really enjoyed? What about the ones that I am keeping? What'd you think about them? Let me know. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, view and patron only content and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload, and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload, because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye all.